Hello viewers, now I am solving learning assessment E1.9. In this scenario, the energy absorbed by the box is given here. The energy plot is given with respect to time here. And it is asked to calculate and sketch the current flowing through the box. Also calculate the charge that enters the box between time interval 0 and 12 seconds. Voltage across the box is also given and we need to calculate and sketch out the current as well as charge. The answer given here for the current sketch is wrong for justification. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have 0.2 ampere current for 2 seconds and minus 0.25 ampere current for 2 seconds. If we add the total current for the time interval 0 to 12 seconds, this current will nullify here because it is also 0.25 ampere for 2 seconds and it is also 0.25 ampere for 2 seconds. When we uh, it is negative and it is positive, when we will add it, it will become 0. But the current which is 0.125 ampere for 2 seconds will remain. But the actual answer is 0 for the charge and the charge will at that time 0 whenever our current will be 0 and according to this sketch our current is not 0 so our charge will have some value. So the exact answer for charge is 0 for that the current should be 0 but here it is not being 0 so this answer is wrong. I have plotted and sketched the correct answer in proceeding slides. For solving this scenario, firstly I would like to share the formulas which we will be using for solving it. Uh, first formula is electrical energy E with respect to power formula and with respect to voltage and current formula. For right now we need to calculate the current so we will be using this formula of energy calculation. Second is electric current which is basically this formula and this is driven from here. Simply a uh, second derivative on both sides. Here derivative of energy came and here derivative is cancelled out by integration. And after that we have divided by voltage to this derivative of energy so that we can find out the current. So it is the current formula which is driven from here. Third formula we will be using is the straight line equation because in our scenario the straight lines are plotted so we need to calculate their equation so that we can find out the current. The last formula is charge formula as I told you earlier scenario this is the formula and we can also use the other charge formula which is basically Q equal to current multiplied by time. Now let's solve the example. We will solve this question in chunks of time because the energy is not constant in through all the time. So we will be solving it in chunks of time. Firstly, we will take time from 0 to 2, then 2 to 4, and then 4 to 6. After that, 0 to 6, uh, 6 to 7, then 7 to 8, then 8 to 10, and then 10 to 12. We know that the voltage across the box is 10 volt. Now calculating the energy between time interval 0 and 2 seconds. Simply using straight line equation y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. y1 and x1 are the initial points of x and y axis of line and y2 and x2 are the final points on the x and y axis of the line. And the y and x are any points on y and x axis. Y, this y will be any point on y axis and this x will be any point on x axis. Here on y axis we have taken energy because this is the energy given here E into time minus. Uh, firstly we are solving for the time interval 0 to 2. So our initial points will be 0 0 and our final points will be x value will be 2 and y value will be 5. So here you can see that the y2 is the 5 minus initial value of y1 uh, is 0. Similarly y uh, x final value is 2 and x initial value is 0. Here y is replaced by energy into time and minus initial value of y is 0. Similarly x is replaced by t and the initial 
value of x is 0. Solving this equation, simply cross multiplication, uh, we got e into t equal to 5 t divided by 2. Now we need to find out the current and we know that the current is the derivative of energy divided by V. So by taking its derivative we got 5 divided by 2 and divided by 10. By simply solving it we got 0 0.25 ampere for the time interval of 0 to 2. Similarly finding out the energy uh, between 2 and 4. Firstly you may see that firstly we are calculating the energy for that time interval after that we are finding out the current from that energy so again using the line equation straight line equation by putting the values for, for this time interval 2 and 4 our initial values are y is y1 is 5 and x1 is 2 and our final values are y2 is also 5 and x2 is 4 so putting these values here we got 5 joules of energy now taking its derivative as we know that the derivative of a constant value is zero so through uh, this time interval we will be having zero current similarly calculating the energy between four and six seconds putting values here four and six seconds uh, our y2 will be zero and x2 will be six while our y1 will be five and x1 will be four Putting these values, we got this equation of energy between this time interval 4 and 6. Now, putting the equation of energy we have found and taking its derivative, we got the answer minus 0 0.25 ampere. What we have done here, we simply taken the derivative of equation of energy which we have found earlier, uh, separate out the equation and taken its derivative individually these constants derivative will be zero and its derivative is minus 5 divided by 2 by simply solving it we got minus 0 0.25 amps now calculating the energy between time interval of 6 and 7 6 and 7 here here again we have we got the energy zero joules by simply putting the x and y coordinates in equation of line and taking its derivative it will also result 0 amps so through 6 to 7 we got 0 amps energy between 7 and 8 simply here our coordinates will be x1 and y1 will be y1 will be 0 x1 will be 7 and final coordinates uh, x2 will be 8 and y2 will be minus 2.5 by putting the coordinates value and solving it our energy equation became this now taking its derivative and we got minus 0 0.25 ampere similarly solving for 8 to 10 we got this energy and because this is a constant value uh, no variable uh, present here so its derivative will be 0 so from 0 uh, 8 to 10 we will getting 0 ampere Similarly, from 10 to 12, putting coordinates to value and we got this energy equation and taking its derivative, we got 0 0.125 ampere. Now plotting the values in graph as you see here from 0 to 2, we were having 0 0.25 ampere from 2 to 4 we were having 0 ampere from 4 to 6 minus 0 0.25 ampere from 6 to 7 0 ampere and from 7 to 8 0 minus 0 0.25 ampere from 8 to 10 0 ampere and from 10 to 12 we got 0 0.125 ampere so i have plotted the graph here you may see that it's a little bit different from the graph uh, uh, given in answer and we can confirm that our uh, this plotted graph is true by calculating the charge for the calculation of charge the simple formula of charge is used i multiply by t so the charge from 0 to 12 will be the summation of all charges between 0 and 12 for this time interval 0 to 2 
our charge will be current between this interval multiplied by time so current between this interval is 0.25 multiplied by time interval is 2 minus 0 similarly adding the next charge which is between 2 to 4 and its value is 0 current's value is 0 and multiply by time interval similarly adding the next time interval charge which is current current through this interval is minus 0 0.25 multiply by uh, time interval is 6 minus 4 and adding all these charges together with this equation and we got charge between this interval is 0 0.5 plus 0 minus 0 0.5 plus 0 minus 0 0.25 plus 0 and plus 0 0.25 and we got the zero column charge which was which was the actual answer so this was the learning assessment 1.9 so we have completed the chapter unsolved learning assessments from next video i will start solving the exercise problems thank you